Hi YouTube and welcome to another episode of Sourcing on a Budget. This is episode two. I'm Andrew, I'm a part-time eBay reseller, full-time civil servant and a mental health advocate. This channel is all about selling eBay and mental health. So if you're new to the channel, hi, uh, do give us a subscribe. Um, so yeah, um, obviously in episode one, I showed you stuff you can pick up for free using stuff like Facebook Marketplace. Today I'm showing you the kind of stuff you can pick up for eBay from eBay. Um, there's a lot of stuff gets put on eBay, um, bundles, car boot bundles, job lots, etc. Um, on auction, usually for a 99p start. We're, sorry, that's uh, somebody just deciding to loudly beat their home. Uh, usually for a 99p start, uh, collection only. Uh, and there's actually the eBay local uh, option, which only seems to work 9 till 5 for some reason, where you can see what collection only items have been posted in your local area. You can set it for 5 miles, 10 miles, 15 miles, 20 miles. And then you can use a sniping tool called Gixen, uh, Gixen Gixen.com, G-I-X-E-N, G -I -X -E -N, um, to um, set up automated bids for uh, items. So I do that, and I usually snipe quite a few... Um, quite a few uh, items uh, that way um, so yeah uh, I've actually done that now I've sniped a bundle of CDs um, cost me all 99p popped down uh, just paid for it one pound in cash I even let I keep the penny change that's a joke by the way I mean I did let you keep the change but I'm, I'm, I'm joking about the penny don't don't go mad at me like being tight or anything um, anyway I'll show you I'll turn the camera around now and I'll show you what I got for my 99p media haul see you in a sec folks Okay, so here we have a bag full of stuff. And actually, this Finding Dory Pixar bag, believe it or not, actually has some value on eBay. Um, so I could list that, ship it large letter, and make a quid or so profit already. That's my money back. But if we look in the uh, the bag here, I've not gone into this. Uh, I'm going in blind. I can see an Eric Clapton double disc dragging my tail. There'll probably be a bit of money in that. Not too much. Uh, it will go large letter. Yeah, I'll go large letter. So I might make 50p a pound on that. But that puts us into profit straight away. Uh, this James Blunt CD again. It's the album. Bit of a crack in it, but that's to be expected with CD cases. Again, I'll probably make 50p a pound on that. Um, this Robbie Williams CD is not brand new and sealed. Don't get confused by that. The replay logo on it means somebody picked it up in Poundland for a pound. Um, so yeah, it is a second-hand used CD. Um, but again, there's probably about 50p pound profit in that. Not huge amounts, but it all starts to mount up. Um, boys owned by request. This, uh, let's look at the condition on it. That is, does appear to be um, a brand new and sealed CD. Um, unless the replay logos come off some taste there but that could just be a price label um, yeah I'd say from the condition of that that's actually brand new so again that might be a couple of pounds profit in that not a huge amount but profit starting to mount up now got this the bodyguard uh, great songs from the movies probably nothing really in that this love environment Beethoven's Nine Symphonies, there might be money in it, there might not. Classical stuff can go quite well. Um, but this is going to be uh, too big to go large like this. It's going to be small parcels, so I'm going to assume there's nothing in that. And again, this is just a free CD in a Day Express, probably nothing in that. Uh, Jazz CD2, again, probably nothing in that. Bit of a compilation CD. Um, Smash hits buzzing. There might be something in that, there might not be. Um, again, another jazz compilation CD, case of it damaged, probably not worth anything. Probably just go to the car boot. It's gate crasher experience. It's a bit worn. I might be able to clean up that case if I can. There should be some money in that. Again, probably a pound or so. Uh, that ultimate disco, probably not worth anything. These CDs, again, probably not really worth anything. Uh, that's a, that's an album in a cardboard case sometimes these can have money in because um, they're sort of uh, valued by collectors so again it might be a slight little bit of a 
a clean up but there may be some money in that so that that bears investigation uh around to guitar the compilation cd probably not really worth anything same with this i mean i will look them up but it's probably not anything in that clack some lock cd probably nothing again nothing but the blues again another compilation cd probably hasn't got anything in it but uh, yeah it's actually like looks like it's part of a four disc set so the other two discs are in there might be something uh guitar collection guitar favorites again probably nothing huge in that again that this is an album no idea who this lady is um looks like it's something of local interest actually there might be money in it there might not be and there's some of the acoustics disc free so it's obviously part of a big disc too it's obviously part of a compilation Raya Carey uh, music box again 50p a pound sort of profit in that um, probably nothing in that what we got here jazz piano grade free to CD possibly something in it possibly not but I'm just looking as you can see for the albums Ben Mills picture of you again it might be 50p a pound um, I will look them up because there could be more on it guitar techniques free cd that you get with guitar magazine probably nothing in it uh female artist yeah newspaper newspaper cyclopedia 2002 uh yeah nothing uh yeah probably enough probably not much in those not much in that steps gold greatest hits might be 50p a pound in that um, 101 strings plus guitars probably nothing in it but oh, again I, I will look up everything but I'm just going for the quick and easy listings at the minute you get a barcode scanner just scan the EAN number in the back there into eBay should pre-fill with uh, catalogue information and you can list it pretty much straight away Joe Longford I wish you love again maybe 50p a pound Katie Milua piece by piece again maybe 50p a pound Top of the Pops 99 Volume 2. That kind of compilation CD from a recognisable brand might have some money in it. So, again, that might be 50p a pound. Venga Boys, we like to party. CD 2, a two part set. We've got CD 1, it might be worth it. If I haven't, it won't. Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms. Uh, that is, looks a bit knackered, really, but it, again, it might be sort of 50p or so. Tom Waltz, Blood Money. Um, yeah, one of these ones in a cardboard case, so worth looking at. Might be some money in that. I'll say 50p a pound for now. This is a single, but again a cardboard case. Again, they do seem to have some value to collectors. That doesn't, so there might be something in that. It's worth looking at. That's nothing. Yeah, and just guitar techniques discs. Could bundle up the guitar take techniques discs and see if there's any interest in those on an auction. Put them on a sort of 99p start with a £3.50 um, postage. Uh, Backstreet Boys, Party, Ultimate Karaoke, 100% unofficial. Again, probably not much in that. Number one Dance Party album, probably nothing in it, but I might give it a shot. Uh, Coronation Celebration, Radio Times 40th Anniversary, Limited Edition. Uh, Oh, I've got to be a bit macabre here. If she dies, um, there could be some money in that, so that might get put to one side. Um, what have we got here? Shania Twain, for love of him, probably 50p a pound profit in that. Uh, best of 90s. Sometimes these best of albums can have something in. We'll have a look. Yeah, Mail on Sunday. Um, Shakira, single. I sometimes list singles, it's probably not my fit really massive in that, but don't ignore the singles, they're slow to sell, but they can sell and bring a little bit of money in. Uh, that can go there. What have we got here? Erasure Pop, the first 20 hits. Don't know if there's anything in that. Um, best of classics, nothing. Micah, Life in Cartoon Motion. Is he even still alive? 50p a pound. Um, Elvis Presley. Forever. Sealed, but case cracked. 
that's unfortunate but still probably 50p a pound even in that condition yeah don't even our oh, contemporary welsh language tracks compiled by hugh stevens there could be some money in that there might not be but we'll say 50p a pound it's a limited target audience and the new Pepsi chart 2002, again, recognisable brand there, so there might be 50p a pound in that. Yeah, guitar techniques, as long as these guitar techniques, again, I just need bundling up and putting an auction. Uh, Bob Dylan, No Direction Home, the soundtrack, the Bootleg Series Volume 7, to this set apparently. Um, yeah, that's a bit worn out, uh, so that's probably not great. We've got here yeah, the great composers, possibly something in that. The classical CDs do have a market, so maybe 50p in that. Blues guitar, probably nothing great in that. Um, Invincible 5, I know the value on this, I've already got it. It's about 199 149 it's not huge. Um, guitar Heels Techniques, Journey South. Um, maybe something in that maybe 50p um, guitar techniques guitar techniques classical guitar that's not worth doing i just do a bundle myself on all the CDs that aren't worth anything as I say and whack them on an auction which will basically pay the cost of pick these up for um yeah get them all on there what else have we got free willy 2 interactive movie book interesting no idea if there's any value in that but it's worth looking up um nothing 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 Coof the rock volume 2 probably not that much money in that compilation album Tom Watts Rain Dogs, maybe 50p a pound. Um, more guitar techniques. Ali G and Shaggy, the brand new single. Oh, I'll have a look at that. DJ, oh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty worn out. Uh, don't even know who this is. Ed, something Johnson Reflections, maybe 50p a pound. Nothing. Um, Riddle, Tom Lee's, 50p a pound. Son of a gun, Finish Fine is about you. Uh, 80 Super Hits 2 CD. Yeah, probably nothing really in that, but. Go more of those rubbish CDs. Uh, we've got a BG single for whom the bell tolls. It is a special edition, so there may be some money in that, 50p a pound. Look out for stuff that's special, limited edition. Yeah, now, what have we got here? Russell Watson, again, maybe 50p a pound. Uh, I don't even know what it is, the very best pop album. Yeah, now, you're probably really not. Now, now, uh, yeah, probably not. Load of loose CDs that I need to look through. Um, Divine Madness, that's what's cover. Junior Party, boring. Uh, and now 47, which is probably 50p a pound. But if you bundle them now with this up, they go quite well. Um, pure Guitar Moves, uh, it's probably going to be like a uh, small parcel, so possibly not. I pay over something in five, but it's not that. Like Great brand on that. Tom Jones Reload Special Double CD Special Edition. Might be a couple of quid in that. Uh, and a sealed Ed Allen Johnson, but again, it's been cracked. Still might be 50p a pound in that. So, yeah, I mean, we're looking conservatively across here. Not much effort to list these, literally just scan, list. And we've probably got about 20 25 quids worth of profit at least bundle the rest up whack them on an auction um might get a couple of quid i'll even sell the bag um 
or use it myself so yeah from a quid um i'm happy that i'm going to make 20 odd quid profit from that so another top tip there for you on sourcing on a budget hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you're not subscribed please do hit that subscribe button and i'll see you again soon folks take care